And now we're finally down to principle number six, which is agree on acceptance criteria. And like establishing a change control process, this is a really short principle in terms of what action you need to take, but it's so important that it requires its own principle. Okay. If you don't know when you're done, how do you know when you're done? Okay. That's why establishing that acceptance criteria on the front end is so important and it needs to be really, really detailed. Using acceptance criteria like the project will be complete when the site is live. That is way too obscure because you don't know that the requirements have been met. You don't know that you have the proper number of pages. You don't know any of that. So it might be better to say that implementing your test plans indicates that you've met all the requirements. I'm not sure exactly how you'd want to word it. I have special wording that I use in my documentation for how we know that a website project is complete. And then I modify that based on the specifics of the project. Now it's important to establish that acceptance criteria for the entire project on the front end. So you know, when you're done, it's just a check off kind of thing, but you also need to establish and agree on that acceptance criteria for major deliverables. For example, if one of the business requirements is that there are a hundred products in the store and that the store is accessible to the user that they can buy these products, then that would be some acceptance criteria. You can't just assume that, well, if I have all the items in there and it's in the format that they want, then they'll accept it because they might not. Maybe there was something they had in their head that they thought they verbalized, they didn't verbalize. So that's why you go ahead and you document at the very beginning. And that's another reason that that first part defining the job in detail takes so long is that you need to really specify all of this detail. And I'm going to give you a little nugget of knowledge. There's a lot of people out there that will use the phrase, the devil is in the details as a quote. And do you know that is not really a quote? That is an aberration of the original quote that if you go to Bartlett's book of quotations and look it up, it's really God is in the details. Cause once you get the details right, you end up with a lot less pain on the back end. So that's the last principle. And now the last video in this series is sort of a recap of all of those principles. So you can kind of get your head around how they all kind of work together. See you in the next video. Bye for now.